In this video, I'll show you how to set up and run SQLite on Visual Studio Code. By the way, if you want to master SQLite, then I'm planning to create a course on SQLite. So what you can do is you can just subscribe to our channel so that if I release that course, you'll get notification. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Okay. The first thing which you should be doing is installing VS Code if you do not have it. Go to code.visualstudio.com and depending on your operating system, you can download VS Code. After you download, during installation, make sure that you check all these four options. Alright, now what I've done is I've created a folder on which I will be having my SQL file and my database. For this, the folder name is 4-SQLite. You can give any other name as per your choice. Just give right click and click on open with code so that I will open this particular folder in VS Code. Now you see that I have this particular folder that is for SQLite. Just click on this plus button to create a new file and I'll just give the name of the database on which I will be having all my tables. So the name I can just give for example mydb.db. So .db is for database, right? So this extension is important. And you can give any particular name of the database. In my case, I have given MyDB. If you want, you can give any other name. Again, what I'll do is I'll just click on this plus button and I'll just create a SQL file on which, I mean, using which I will create some queries. So I'll just give, for example, mysql.sql. So .sql is the extension for SQL file. Just give enter. And now what I'll do is first, I will install a particular extension and I'll just go to extensions. Here, I'll just search for SQLite and just wait for some time. You see, I have this particular extension, the first one that is SQLite by Alex CVZZ. Just click on this install button if you have not installed. So at this moment, it is already installed on my VS Code. So let me just show you. If I just in uninstall it and you see, you'll be having options that is install. Just click on this install button if you have not installed it, every time you install a particular extension, make sure you reload your VS Code. For that, just open your command palette for which you can just give Shift, Control and P. So this is the shortcut and you just search for reload. And you see the first one, it is developer colon reload window. So if you just click on this, it will reload your VS Code. And now you just open your SQL file so the SQL file is mysql.sql and first I will create a table. So for that, I'll just give create table and you can give a particular name of the table. So let's say that I want to create a table for employees. So I'll just give EMP and I'll be having, let's say three columns, employee ID, employee name, and let's say email. All right. And I'll just give create table, table name, employee ID, and this will be my integer field, and it will be not null, right? And I'll also make this as primary key, all right? It is better, I'll just make it as capital letter, okay? So actually SQL is not case sensitive, but it is better to give in capital letters. So all the keywords, if you give in capital letters, it will be a better format. All right, and employee name will be text field. So I'll just give text not null. I also want to make sure that this particular field is also not containing null values. And email, I'll just say not null, right? And to run a particular query, first I'll just save this file. So I'll just give control S to save this. And I'll just open the command palette again, and I'll just give SQLite. And you see it is saying, SQLite run query. If I just click on this SQLite run query, now it is asking me to choose a database and we have created this particular database that is mydb.db. Select this and it is going to create this table. You see towards your right, it has created this table. And let me do one thing. Now, what I'll do is I'll just comment it out. So I'll just use the shortcut that is control and forward slash. And now this time what I'm gonna do is I'll just add some records into this table. So I'll just give insert. Okay, so insert 
into EMP and I'll just give employee ID comma employee name comma email and I'll just give values and I'll just add employee ID for example one employee name for example I'll just give Sam and email I'll just give test one at the rate test.com so this is the dummy name I've given just save this file and to run it just give right click and you can just give control shift key or you can open the command palette and you can just give run query all right so I'll just give run query here and now again I'll just comment it out right so let me just comment it out and I'll just give select all from EMP and let me just save it and I'll just run it again and you see that I have one record that is one Sam and test one at the rate test.com if you want you can add more number of records so I'll just add more number of records here so I'll just give now this time two and instead of Sam I'll just give Tom and I'll just give test two let me just save it and if I just run it now again let me just comment it out and again let me just uncomment the select statement save it click on run and you see I have two records so in this way you can create tables in your SQLite database and if I just click on this particular option now you see that we have mydb and mysql.sql if you click here just give right click and you have lot of other options for example open database and you can also create a query directly like new query and so on right and at the bottom you see if I just show you actually if I just open this particular database now you see at the bottom I have mydb.db and you can see that the name of the table is EMP so at this moment it contains one table if you add multiple tables it will show up here and if I just click on this particular table it is showing that it has three columns employee ID which is integer employee name which is text and then we have email so just give right click and you can also say show table you click on this and it will show the table so first let me just close this I will also close this as well and let me just close this as well now you see if I just give right click and click on show table it will show the table so you see that this is a table and this contains this particular record so you see we have used the SQLite in Visual Studio Code so that's it in this video if this video was helpful to you please click on the like button subscribe to our channel and make sure that if you use the coupon code use it seriously otherwise you are wasting someone's else opportunity in the same way I have created lot of videos in which I have shown lot of other programming languages which are used in Visual Studio Code and the next video which I'm going to publish is HTML and if you want to access that premium HTML course for free then please make sure that you use the coupon code and only the first thousand students will be able to access that premium course for free so make sure you subscribe to our channel and you can also see the description of the video so that you will get more updates regarding that particular video and this particular video.